Today marks the fifth anniversary of Kirby Star Allies. As the first mainline Kirby game released for the Nintendo Switch, and with the return of helpers and mix abilities from Kirby Superstar and Squeak Squad, this game was all but certain to leave a memorable impression on fans of the series. In honor and celebration of its fifth anniversary, I'm going to be sharing with you 20 facts that you didn't know about Kirby Star Allies. Wispy Woods has a second death animation apart from his usual one. When using fire attacks to defeat Wispy, he will be terribly burnt after the fight. You can even see his body still smoking after the fire is put out. Honestly, this is kind of sad. There are several easter eggs scattered across the world map. If you come to this spot on the Planet Popstar world map, you can see the Dragoon flying in the background. The Dragoon first appeared in Kirby Air Riders as a rideable machine, and later appears as a weapon in the Super Smash Bros. series. Additionally, if you come to this spot in the Jambastion world map, you can see flying in the distance Shadow Kirby, who made his debut in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. As of December 31st, 2021, Kirby Star Allies has sold over 3.98 million copies, making it one of the top 30 selling games on the Switch. This is the first Kirby game where Waddle Doo can be seen blinking. This was only previously seen in the Kirby Right Back At Ya anime series and in Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS. Kirby Star Allies is the first traditional platformer in the series to name individual stages. This is Nago, Pitch, and Choo Choo's first appearance in the flesh in over 20 years since their debut in Kirby's Dreamland 3. Additionally, Kirby Star Allies also sees the return of Adeline and Ribbon, who were last seen in Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. Kirby Star Allies bears a strong resemblance to Kirby's unreleased GameCube game. Allow me to explain. This trailer was first shown at E3 in 2005, depicting a brand new Kirby adventure intended for the GameCube. Unfortunately, this game was never released, due to it not reaching the quality that Nintendo expected. However, many of the ideas from this game would later be recycled into other projects. Many have pointed out the similarities between this unreleased game to both Kirby's Return to Dreamland and Kirby Star Allies. For example, elements such as befriending three enemies at once and stacking with each other were later used in Kirby Star Allies. It's too bad we'll never get to experience this cancelled Kirby adventure, but at least it lives on in some form through successor Kirby games. Kirby Star Allies has the most standard copy abilities of any Kirby game, at 28. After defeating any of the first four bosses, Kirby can throw a friend heart to positively affect them. If done so, King DDD and Meta Knight are converted into friends. Wispy Woods on the other hand will happily drop dozens of items from his branches. Finally, Pawn and Con will eagerly open the gate for Kirby to pass through, the latter of which is required to continue through the game. In the Ultimate Choices difficulty selection, there is a secret 8th difficulty called Soul Melter, which depicts an evil Kirby with red eyes. This is a reference to an episode in the Kirby Right Back At Ya anime titled Frog Wild, in which we see a similar looking evil Kirby committing devious acts. Additionally, King Dedede's transformation during his boss fight references the same episode which contains a similar scene. Kirby's new artist ability isn't only reminiscent to Adeline, but features multiple callbacks to previous Kirby games. Using the artist ability, Kirby can paint various allies who will jump out of the painting and hurt enemies, not so unlike Adeline from Kirby 64. As another callback to Kirby 64, Kirby can also paint a fridge that will distribute food items to heal you. Finally, Kirby can use a one-time paintbrush ability for big damage, similar to the old paint ability from Kirby Superstar. After holding down and Y for 3 seconds, Kirby will cover the entire screen with paint dealing a massive amount of damage to all enemies. Kirby Star Allies is the first Kirby game since Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards to feature a bad ending to the game's story. It specifically occurs within the Heroes in Another Dimension subgame. The bad ending only happens if the player has collected less than 100 friend hearts. In the bad ending, Kirby and friends defeat the three mage sisters, perform the iconic Kirby dance, and walk off. However, after they leave, the camera zooms in as the mage sisters are enveloped in a dark aura, while the same jingle can be heard that played during the bad ending for Kirby 64.
Kirby Star Allies is the first game where Kirby's life counter can depict over 99 lives, and once you hit 999, a crown will appear over Kirby's icon. The first letter of all seven stages found on Planet Popstar spell out the word friends, which ties into the theme of friendship as well as the game's main mechanic. Yuta Ogasawara was hired as a new composer for the Kirby franchise, and was brought into Kirby Star Allies as his first official work. He worked alongside longtime Kirby composers Hirokazu Ando and Jun Ishikawa to help bring to life the magical score featured in this game. A few years later, Ogasawara was even promoted to the lead sound for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Okay, this one is pretty funny. Kirby can actually damage Void Termina's core during the final boss fight by simply throwing friend hearts. Not counting the grouped dream friends separately, Kirby Star Allies has the most playable characters out of any Kirby game, with a total of 38. Kirby Star Allies is the most heavily censored Kirby game to date, due to religion being one of its main themes and thus having religious concepts that could potentially cause controversy. Some examples include changing God to Dark Lord, changing Prayer Song to God to Song of Supplication, and more. They even had to change various boss titles. Highness's title was originally Demon General, but was changed to Officiant of Doom. This is the only Kirby game for the Nintendo Switch to incorporate the series logo used since Nightmare in Dreamland. Not including the Fighter and Clash spin-off games, this logo's font, art style, and crooked letters remained as a staple within the Kirby franchise for nearly 20 years until its final use in the 3DS's extra epic yarn. Today, Kirby and the Forgotten Land is the first mainline Kirby game with a new logo in 20 years. This is the first Kirby game to be localized into Chinese, in both traditional and simplified forms. And there you have it. Those are 20 things that you didn't know about Kirby Star Allies. This video was really fun to make as Kirby Star Allies was the first Kirby game I beat and served to help produce the love that I have today for the entire Kirby franchise. I learned a lot of fun things about this game during my research, and hopefully you learned a thing or two as well. If you are still here, I want to thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. And with that, hopefully I'll see you all again next time, and have a great day.